This camera literally just took a nosedive off the shelf. And I caught you guys. Are you still standing on the hall? Riley, just come in here. Are you just standing at the end of the hallway staring me down? Sir, you think you just because you're 11 years old, you can do whatever you want? Guess whose birthday it is? Guess whose birthday it is? It's Riley's birthday. Riley snaps his birthday. I'll just do the intro from down here. If you would like to join, you can come back in, sir. Come up here. Hi, Bubby. Does that smell good? It's Riley's birthday. He's turning 11. We don't really know when his birthday is. It's sometime at the end of March. And I just celebrated my sister-in-law's birthday. And his birthday and her birthday are very close. So we're just going to do a bunch of your favorite stuff for today. Which I feel like we do every birthday. But he don't know that it's... He just thinks we're doing all of his favorite things in one day. So we're going to go for a ride. We're going to go pick up treats. Maybe a puppuccino. Some goodies. Maybe go for a walk. Just hang out. Maybe play in the backyard. Run around a little bit. Be a little bit of a hooligan. I've literally thrown the word car ride around so many times that he is just like... <laughs> Ready to go. My coworker and friend Lauren made him this little like crocheted bandana. Like, it's kind of like splatter paint, so I like it. Is it too tight? No, it's perfect. You look like a little cutie. <laughs> Can't believe you're 11 years old. 11. Over a decade. Careful getting down. Hold the chair. There you go, you old man. You're ready to go celebrate your birthday? Okay, let's go. Okay, we gotta put your collar and everything on. Oh my. I know you don't like putting it on. You gotta go harness to the... Okay, rock and roll. We have to go pee before we go. You have to go to the bathroom. Got it? Bathroom. First, go pee. Go pee. Oh. No, don't take a lap. Go to the bathroom. Good boy. Good boy. I really want you to celebrate your birthday, but you got an 11 year old bladder. How? We're gonna get to the store and you're gonna piss in the store, aren't you? I mean, it's a good excuse. Oh, it's his birthday and he's 11 and he just can't hold it. You got so many what goo gads or doodads on. Bandana, collar, your harness. You ready? You might pee in the store, but that's what happens when you get old. You pee places you're not supposed to. This actually turned out to be such a nice day. It's 39 degrees outside, but technically that's great weather. It feels like sunny and nice outside. It's not really windy. These are a few of Riley's favorite things. When we go on the walks and the car rides and we just hang out. Oh my God, too much chef show. Did I even bring my wallet? Who's gonna pay for all this? You got your wallet on you? It's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll pay for your birthday. You can get me back on mine. But I cannot believe that Riley is 11 years old. It's just nuts. He's so gray in the face now. He's like gray like in the eyebrows, in his face. He's got all the little like eye boogers, like little moles around his eyes. He's just getting old. He sleeps more than ever. He's yawning more than ever. He's cute as ever. He's just the best. I know, I know, I know the channel likes Riley and people always say he acts like such a human in the little shotgun rider seat. So I wanted to bring you guys along to celebrate his birthday because otherwise we would just be running around and doing whatnot, but I'll try and film a lot of it. It's hard to handle a dog and the camera, but I really don't know why he's so chill in the car for the most part. If people like walk up to the car and he didn't see them before I see them, he gets kind of growly and stuff, but he he likes the car. He likes sticking out the window. He likes chilling. It's so nice outside. This is the best, but he just likes being in the car. People don't know he's a, he's a Britney Spaniel. Riley's hair grows weird out of his head. He like doesn't get the back feathering on the legs like Britney's are supposed to get. He just doesn't like lettuce, only likes the texture. He loves ice though, loves a good ice cube, loves treats. He's not a grazer. If you give him food, oh, we're eating the damn food. I don't know why I ever started putting Riley in the car for car rides. I think I just wanted someone to hang out with in the car. If I know I'm just going to get coffee and then coming home, why would I not bring him with? He's chill, he's a chill dude. And he pulls really hard on the leash. We never like leash trained him for walking, which is our fault, but we have such a big backyard, we figured he would always just run around in the backyard. But if we wanna take him out and have him explore the world, we'll just do it via car. <laughs> like he's getting a hundred sm uh, smells per second on that thing. Otherwise we'd be walking at the, this, the pace of molasses outside on a leash. You enjoying yourself, Slim Jim? He growls when he plays. He's one of those dogs that like, he doesn't just like play quietly. He always has to growl when he plays, but it's a friendly growl. It's hard to explain, but like he does, he just does it to, cause he, he, he makes, he likes making noise. Does it, do you think he gets that from anybody else in the family? Like I, I also, he's not a very cuddly dog. Sometimes he's, sometimes he's really needy and he'll like follow you around all day. You can, you're like, oh, something's up with Riley. He's being so needy today. And he like wants to be around people. Other than that, he's like not a cuddly dog. He likes his sleep. He likes like his spot on the couch, his spot on the bed. If I, so I'll find him at like 7 p.m. Like already tucked in my parents' bed, exhausted from the day of doing 
whatever he does, barking at the mailman, just looking in the window for our neighbors to come home. We don't need anything at the pet store. He is out of cookies. Been feeding him too many cookies. There's something on my foot. My foot is burning right now. Oh my God, is there like a spider in my shoe? Also, this pet store has ferrets by the register, like a little cage of ferrets. And I always forget until we're walking out and then Riley's like sniffer is going like crazy. He's up there um, by the ferrets. And I'm like, these look like squirrels and chipmunks to this dog. Am I saying your name too many times? You know what I'm talking about? There's something in my shoe. Something bad back. The birthday bug. <laughs> you gotta act chill. Act like you've been here before. Act like you're 11 years old and you've been here before, okay? We're just going in, we're just perusing. We don't need nothing. We could pick up a couple of treats, maybe pick up a little birthday, little birthday treat. We're not buying the store. We're not putting a down payment on nothing. A bump bump, a doo 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 doo. You were surprisingly good in there. As I walked in, they're like, Do you want to spin the wheel for your pup? And then also, we have like free treats and mini puppuccinos. Two puppuccinos out of them. The lighting in here is so bad. We got these fruitable skinny minis. I got him the blueberry ones and they're so small. I like to give him like little mini treats when he comes into my office. Pumpkin and mango flavored these ones. And then these are the three dog bakery. I've seen this box around. These are soft baked woofers, grain free, sweet potato flavor, sweet potato. And then we just got him the normal cookies. They have like a little mini bakery there. This one's really cute. It's like a little mushy dog butt with a heart on it. This one's like a mini cannoli. These are making me hungry. This one's like a mini cupcake. Do you want one of these now? You're gonna get the crumbs everywhere. Oh my, the crumbs. Okay, just chew that. Crumbs over here, crumbs over here. Crumb right there. I desperately need, want coffee. Something strong. I have like a headache and I've drank water and I took the pain pills and I'm convinced a coffee will turn this around. Let's get you a puppuccino. Third one of the day. What's that? It's not gonna hurt. He's 11 years old. He can have three puppuccinos. <laughs> I need Zach coffee. I'm so glad we have this wide angle lens now so we can just capture both sides of the car. <sighs> Some people, some people when they're sitting in their car look dead. Like you need to like look up every so often. So we all know that you're still moving. Some people are just head down in their phone. And I'm like, hey, hey, you good? So I'm trying to celebrate my dog's birthday and you just not moving. Oh, the line is a little long. You ready for the puppuccino? This dog is no strangers to drive throughs I take him through a drive through <laughs> More than I would like to admit. <laughs> I also curled my hair today for the brunch I went to, but this is the second day of the curl. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm wearing, when my hair's down and curled, I feel like I'm wearing a wig. Curled and down and long and brown. Whose hair is that? Oh, we got a cutie in the car. And I'm not talking about me. Cause I, besides my hair, I look like garbage today. And we have a Starbucks gift card. I don't know how much is on here. I don't know if there's nothing. And I just put it a zero balance gift card back in my wallet. That's a high possibility. How does it feel to be 11 years old? Riley, any comment? How does it feel to be 11 years old? Oh, <laughs> same as when I was 10. It doesn't feel any different. Right, right. Oh yes, yeah, he said, he said I'm gonna be getting more puppuccinos than ever. If I'm starting off with three, who knows what the year will bring. That is correct. Puppuccinos all day, puppuccinos all day, all day, son. Like we're out of whipped cream. I'm like, bullshit. Give him the sweet cream cold foam. He can handle it. This is always the longest Starbucks line. I feel like I lose my mind every time I'm in this line. I think these two dudes are selling a bike over here because there was a bike and another guy watching him ride the bike. And then he like rode it around the parking lot and now got out. Maybe he just learned how to ride a bike. Maybe it's a special type of bike. It looks like a pretty normal bike to me. If I'm gonna people watch this hard, I should probably put my sunglasses on. They're still looking at this bike. Maybe the chain's broken and the one guy is a bike expert, bike fixer-upper, but he's like, I couldn't ride the bike all the way to your shop because the bike's broken. He's like, I'll meet you at the Starbucks. I'll meet you halfway at the Starbucks. And we could get coffee and a good time. We could chit-chat, become friends. They're talking about the bike. Do I see a handshake? Someone's digging in their pockets for money. They both give each other money and I'm like, wait, what did we just, who bought what off of who? Oh, I'm gonna lose them. I'm gonna lose them behind the drive-thru. Oh, now they're both going in. So no one bought the bike? He's pointing at it. He goes, wait, my bike, my bike I just bought. There's no lock. It didn't come with a lock. It looks like he has paperwork for the bike. Like when you buy a car and they give you the paperwork. What kind of a special bike is that? Probably a 10 speed, 10 speed Schwinn bike. Hi, can I do um, a venti ice white chocolate mocha with caramel syrup? And then can I also just do a pup cup for my dog and that's it. Cool, thank you. Did it go through? I can't see. Yeah, it 
Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You too. That guy looked fresh faced. Do we know what that means? He looked fresh faced out the womb. Barely high school. Good for him. I he looked young. He could have been 35. No facial hair. But I secured the coffee. Thank you. That's for me. I know you're not huffing and puffing over there. And then I got him the pup cup. Now they're in a plastic? They used to be in a paper cup. Spending Ow! the day. Was my hair just stuck to the ceiling? <laughs> What is going on? Riley looks like he's about to pass out on the couch. And I usually do this next bit for Easter, but we're gonna do it today. Hold on. I'm gonna take some of the treats. We just got them. Ooh, okay. This is basically my version of, what's that called? Not immersion therapy. That is something totally different. That's like swimming with sharks when you're afraid of the water. What's it called when you like have dogs do like puzzles to get their brain going? Sometimes you like hide treats in a mat or whatever. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hide treats and eggs and put them in the backyard since it's nice outside. He knows this game really well. I want him to be dead tired when he goes to sleep tonight. I want someone to have to help him get up in the bed. He's like, my legs, my legs. I just been running around all day. Not all these eggs broken. When he opens these up, he chomps on them and then cracks the egg. So there's no, this one's cracked too. There's only like four that actually held up to the test of time. Maybe I'll put some of these in there too. This one's cracked too. Come on, what is he doing to these toys? I'll just do a couple. Part of me is like, he's gonna have such an upset stomach later if I take him for a walk, but that's the beauty of being a dog. You could poo poo your worst poo wherever you are. You even gotta drop your pants down there. You don't even have pants on. He could just poop on whoever's lawn it is and I'll still pick it up. I'm kind of jealous. Oh, good stuff. You wanna come search for eggs? Come on, go look for eggs. One that you missed. Oh! Ah. Oh, dropped your cookies. What is that? You stepping in poo? What's this? Come on, sugar. Okay, editing Christine here. We're in the studio. We're cutting clips together. Why did I leave that clip in? What is that? Poo? What did you step in poo? Riley didn't step in poo. I stepped in poo during the Easter egg hunt. I was bit I filmed with my camera and the phone and the making sure he didn't eat the eggs. I stepped in poo. And then I walked inside the house and got halfway in and realized I had poo on my shoe. So then I had to spend the next 15 minutes scraping it off. And then I just realized that my mom was cleaning the house and she had cleaned the blankets that we put on the couch. And Riley had jumped up on the couch and he was covered in mud from running in the bushes from the from the little snack hunt. So, so like for the next half hour, the video took a turn and I was just like cleaning the poo off my shoe and Riley's feet. And so then after that... <laughs> <laughs> of course that would happen. After that, um, I put Riley's little birthday sign together and did like a little mini birthday photo shoot with him. And he got more of his treats that I bought at the pet store. And then after that, we just played. And then we just called it a night. He was, I think, exhausted. I think he's still sleeping and it's the next day. So I don't know. <laughs> Let's get back to the video. Let's get back to the poo on my shoe, shall we? Happy birthday to Riley, 11 years old. Um, the video's a little over the place. It's hard to film with him. Like he, he does his best camera moments when the video's not even about him. He is like the best side character, secretly main character. He's such a goofball. Um, we are so lucky to have had him for the past 11 years and I'm hoping for a crap ton more because that's my coffee buddy, my shotgun rider, my sugar bear. He just one of a kind. Come here. Uh. 